Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to Cardi Made It. So today I would like to show you all how I am going to make my business cards. I saw this post on Facebook that says Office Max is doing 500 business cards for $9.99 until September the 12th. And today is September the 8th and I said hey, why not? So today I just want to show y'all how I'm going to create and order my business cards. I have been highly unmotivated and slacking and have not done anything business related in a while. So I thought today was a good day to, you know, change that up. I need to stop being so lazy, get off my butt and get to work. I will be designing my business cards on Canva, canva.com. Um, I love this website. I even have the app on my phone. And Canva is Canva is just this website where you can design things and publish them all over. I have made flyers, slideshows, what else? I have made all types of things. My YouTube um, intro video, I made that on Canva. Um, I edited pictures on Canva. You know, just adding stuff to it. So I really love Canva. Not sponsored, by the way. But um, here I am on Canva.com. I would go to Create Design. And then it has all these suggestions where you can make a YouTube intro, t-shirt, post to Instagram post. Blase, blase. But if you scroll all the way down here, you can click on business card. And once you click business card, here is what pops up. It has all these templates. This is what I love about Canva. You do not have to start from scratch. If you have absolutely positively no idea what you want on your business card they have all types of suggestions for you look how cute yoga studios music business cards dj business card catering web designer teacher business card even the teachers have templates like oh my goodness i did not see this before but this is just about the same color as my logo which is going to be a focal point on one side of my business card because I will be making a double sided business card. But yeah, all types of business cards. So, ooh, they got something even called cute, cute business cards. So if you just say, how I don't know what I want, I want something cute. They got all types of examples. I have a little bit of an idea. So the very first thing I guess I thought about is what all I want on my business card and all I can think for sure I want my logo real big on one side so here's my logo it's black and pink really simple um I like simplicity I don't like extra 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 read all about it I love the simplicity of it and basing my background color off of my um, actual logo and I don't want everything to clash so I'm going to put a barrier between the two so mm, if you go to backgrounds they have all sorts of background colors um, I was looking for something with a little pink in it because I I want that feminine touch I guess but I don't want to be girly girly but I didn't want nothing dark either so all types of backgrounds but this is what I ended up liking and choosing was this but as you can see this clashes with my logo so what I chose to do was put a square basically behind my logo so you'll go to elements and if you type in square you can just put a square back behind it and so what I did was 
I just basically stretched that square out until it got to the points where I wanted it on the card. And if you right click, well, I'm on the HP Windows computer, but if I, if you, I don't have a mouse either. If you right click, basically, is what I'm trying to say, you can hit C and backwards, and it's going to take it behind your logo. And also, if you see this little blue square, that is the color of that square. Square, square. Mm -hmm. I'm going to click new color because I want it white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And I'm actually going to make my logo a little bigger because I want it huge. My logo is all I want on this back side of my card. Okay. This is so cute to me. It's simple. And hmm, I don't know. Hmm. I like I like it. But let's see. It's cute. I'm gonna play with it a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so whilst I was playing around looking at stuff, I found this kind of square within a square. And I like it. I like it a lot. I like it even better than the bitch plain old solid square that I have. So, I add. Okay, so to basically get the other side of my business card. I would go to add new page and then start designing what I want on the other side of my business card. And I am going to keep the same background. The layout is just going to be a wee bit different. Okay. I think I'm going to keep that solid square that I tried out using. Because I like that color. Okay. So I feel like it's important to have certain things on your business cards. I am going to include my P.O. box. Um, of course, I'm going to put the logo. I'm going to put my website. Um, email. YouTube. Instagram. My Facebook is not... What's the word? I don't know. It's not up to par. That is something that I need to work on, though. My Facebook. Because it's looking a little... Blah. Uh, Alright, so here is what I have so far. I included a little smaller um, logo, my P.O. box, my website, my Gmail, which I, I am so bad with checking my email. Um, I do know that with Shopify, you get another Gmail, which I will check, but this is going to be my main email account for contacting me about businesses um, I might switch it up later but since it's, it's a good deal we just go ahead and get something done now I okay so I have decided to include my Facebook account so all that means is I need to go in and um, work on it because it looks a mess honestly I'm just I'm honest I'm a very honest person my Facebook it just looks a mess. It's old and it just has a bunch of things on there from how many years ago. Okay, so here is my finished results. Um, I think they are cute for my very first business card and considering that I made them myself. That's, that's really what just, you know, is important to me. Um, they might not look the most professional, but I love them. I really do. So I'm going to show you how to order them. Hopefully I'm doing this right myself, but office, was it office Depot? 
So Office Depot, Office Max. Uh, something different. So I don't know why I thought it was different. So I'm going to go to, and I'm sure I'm going to have to create an account. So let me, let me create my account real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, so I created my account with Office Depot. Really quick and easy, nothing hard. I actually had been there before and I guess I bought something in a store because my number pulled up like a rewards account, which I didn't know anything about. Don't remember. But, okay, so to order the business cards, I'm going to go to services and if you slide over here under marketing materials, I'm going to go on business cards um, and here it is only 999 514 point Mac business cards I'm assuming at this point I don't speak design talk so forgive me if I'm wrong but um shop now okay um so you could have created your own design and look here, it even says design with Canva. So I wonder if this is like a little shortcut. Can I take a shortcut? If I click on design with Canva. No, it wants me to go from scratch because eh. Nah. We're not gonna do design with Canva. That's not the way. Get out of here. Get it move. Okay. Um, so I guess you go to upload your own design. My device. All right, I am back, and I had to figure out something. Um, when you are in Canva and you're downloading your business card pages, up here you go to download. Um, you can download them one at a time. It's just a drop down box, and you click page one, download, and then page two, done and download. And that's how you'll be able to get them uploaded into Office. Uh, Max Office Depot and here's my first page it says to avoid unintended white borders adjust your design to fill the edges of the card and I do not want any um white edges you know so I'm gonna stretch it the best way I can then I'm going to go to the front and upload the front. I want to make sure I clicked on the right one. That's annoying. And I do know that my tops are my my top part of my business cards are Bigger than a thing, and I did that intentionally. I think it looks good. Um, just trying out stuff, honestly. But on this side, they're all even. Um, I think this is good. I like this. I think I'm ready. Okay, so gonna go print options, and this is the best value two boxes. Oh, 500 499 per box four point mat is the recommended but for an additional twelve dollars you can get gloss additional twelve dollars uncoated 16 point which is a heavier stock for an extra 30 for an extra 36 you get a pearl it's I guess it's sparkly and then for an extra thirty dollars, you can get recycled content. Okay. Uh, since my selections are already selected for me, let me go to review. Oh, look how cute! Now that I look at it, I don't like it as much. Hmm. I don't like this anymore. I liked it how I had it, but hmm, poo. So I'm gonna go change it. I'll be right back. See, it says choosing approve and add to cart means you have carefully checked the spelling, which the spelling is fine. 
and content layout and that you understand that this document will present exactly as it appears I like my cards how I made them I didn't make them like this <laughs> so now I have to go back to Canva and change it a little bit because I don't you see how the edges are I wanted them a certain way but I guess I can't have what I want so let me Alright, so here is the final product. Well, before ordering, of course. And I still don't like the way my front page, um, my front of my business card looks. But this is my first set of business cards. There are more to come in the future. And I didn't want to let this little deal, you know, pass me by. But I would, and I don't feel like changing it, honestly. But I do like this side. I guess I should have made it made them similar instead of trying to do something different on the back oh well eh, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal okay so add to cart and now I am going to check out and everything and await my business card so yeah um today is September the 8th I think that the post said this that they're doing this until the 12th um, I didn't read any fine print or anything so y'all can check that out let's see how long it takes for my business cards to come in the mail and thank you all so much for watching please share like and subscribe <coughs> pause I'm not done with my video yet okay so I got to this shopping cart screen my order summary screen and it says delivery is $9.95 do they not know how cheap I am so if I do store and curbside pickup it's not that much but my nearest office max is a freaking hour away I'm in Greenwood Greenville is a freaking hour away um and I'm gonna do store pickup because I'm dead cheap. Oh, <laughs> I'm dreading this. I I'm gonna do store and curbs. I pick up. Oh, well, all right. So this is the actual end of the video. I just wanted to come back and say that they trying to. You know, get over on me with this sh delivery fee. Why? Why is delivery more than a doggone business cards? That crazy. Well, just as much as the business cards. Mm. Alright, I'm done. Ran over. <laughs>